Hi guys, Ray here. I just want to give you a quick update on what's going on with the channel and life for a little bit. But in the meantime, I'll give you a bit of a tour of what's basically been doing. Um, so, Bird and I have recorded a couple more episodes of Stardew Valley, and we did that on a Monday, which is our recording day. And by Monday night, my husband had been admitted to hospital. <laughs> Uh, for those that don't know, he actually has leukemia, so if he gets sick, he's really sick really quick. So we've just come out from two weeks there. So he's now on three months of work. Great stuff. Um, so I will get those episodes converted and uploaded as fast as I can. And hopefully next Monday we can start recording again. We'll see what happens. Um, I should be able to dedicate a bit more time to let's plays and stuff so we can work with that. In the meantime, just sort of get my head around things, I've been playing Sky Factory 4. Wow, that is also loud. Down. So the original place where you start is somewhere over there ish. And I find that when I'm playing Skyblock, and you might have noticed it a little bit on no, the other one I was playing, as I tend to compact myself right down. So I played around a bit and I decided I wanted to really try space it out. You shouldn't be there. So I've gotten rid of you. As you can see, I'm using the edge shell to move around, but I haven't even got to fight yet. But I've got like things auto processing over here. I basically moved my central area to here. These are going to be spread out over that way once I can figure out my power. Um, yeah, it's noisy. I've got cookies and milk beside the bed because hey, why not? That's just the white concrete. I went into a test world and I sort of played around with how I wanted my little areas laid out and what little things I've done is it made them so they all fit nicely the chunk. Every single bit here sits in a chunk. So you can see this one here. Uh, this is basically what the fully complete one will look like. Um, so yeah, all kind of domey-ish. Yeah, all that noise, it's lava. I've only got a few generators at the moment. Lava. I've made it so I can get around when I don't have flight. Because I don't want to have to keep relying on everything. This probably is pretty noisy too. I don't know. But yeah, just water supplies go to various places if I want it. Like here. My latex processing, I'm just leaving it sit there for now. I just live and stuff and let it go. Cobbled gems running all my users. Filing cabinets and a couple of overflow boxes. I'm gonna go through I'm gonna put these and those. You know, various things onto files. And then I'll shuffle them around. I had a laser set up, man, it's a power suck, but it gave me the base supplies I wanted to keep my things going. To the way of the noise. So, yeah, everything from my trees is pumped into here. I've got a few spare ones at the moment, just those ones. But, simple storage. And there's pumping in the individuals. I have no really big rush. If I want anything in a rush, I'll make up the resin and shove it in my big smeltery. But I'll pay for this. See, so yeah, that's hooked up wirelessly to um, the lava. Oh, I wanted to show you up. Yeah, sorry, noise. I've got only one thing hooked up to the lava here, and that's fueling all of those. That's the frame for my simple storage.
So yes, all the trees, each of these farming cabinets not only holds by the acorns and saplings and resins, but also holds their items. Wow, see I play this all with the sound. Oh, that grates in your teeth, man. Uh, over here is the side of the farms. Just getting into mystical agriculture now. I've got the basic vanilla ones and then there's Excel food one one. And the plan is to get I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six crops of types. And each of those little five by five patches. So these are just set to five by fives. And I'll just have like four of each, just enough so we want to use stuff. It's all there. Now I've just got that one. I'm trying to figure out how to trigger all those quests. But yes, each of these is made so I can just expand off. Uh, my garden one goes too high. So it's all set, ready to go, and if I need to, I can go up high. All capped off. I just have the lanterns because I quite like the look of those. And this here. So, well, it's only set to go that way, to my main path. I'm going to build it up and I'll probably just sort of dome it this way a little bit somehow. Break it kind of a good figure out. Now, this monstrosity. I was up till 1 o'clock this morning building this monstrosity. <laughs> I have got every single resource hog in there, as well as a sheep and a couple of chickens. All with the import cables, auto packages. Uh, oh, this has been way too long in the works. It's all powered off the energy cube, which of course is getting all the power downstairs. This is my lag creator. Because everything seems to happen at once. Everything in here in block mine is except for this one. This has got the shears. And I've got it set so hopefully the plan is that bit of grass will grow over. And that's what the sheep eats. My chickens. I've all got the others. This is the design well, at least get this base design with the minor, the, hot, the upper. And then, as I found out, the package is basically what Chosen Architect did for his let's play, which is great. You can see this mineral and oak is definitely based on him as well. <laughs> he has, he's got a point that looks really good together. But I like lights and white. So, yeah. And I quite like this the light blue scape stained glass. But yeah, that's all his design, and I just decided to stack them. I was originally only go, only gonna go like too high. And then I showed it to my husband, and he goes, Why don't you just stack it right up? And I was just, because my plan was just to keep going, just have you know, chunk and chunk that. But he's like, Just stack it. He doesn't have any farms, just stack them. And I have to admit, because it adds that. Yeah, there'd be a little central area. Oh, I did have cows, but I decided since I was going to get the cow to jar, just leave it. This is where I've been growing monsters to kill. <laughs> but I've got you know, a few things. Uh, yeah. I can swear I had like a zombie one too. Should I get the pristine? Oh. Let's see. That's a nice. See. That might be the one that I do the glitch with. For the sake. Because I can probably just grow a whole heap of just jump down my head. And my feet bump them. I'm getting, starting to get started into flux. I tried getting into it too soon. And I just didn't have the resources. But now I've got. Everything happening. It's not too bad. Oh! <laughs> so I've opened Diamond. Because I like that duo over if they play. <laughs> I did have a mob tower. That does give me a whole heap of stuff. I just had to go on vector plates over to uh, Diamond Spikes. And an automated collector or whatever it was from Cyclic. Great little mob farm, did exactly what I wanted it to do. Oh yeah, just a hydro 
cubes there. But yeah, it's rather nice. It's got a lot way, long way to go. I might give you an overview when I'm done with the pack or nearly done, you know, because you get quite a few like these big ones that are just going to sit there. Like all of these ones. Yeah. Uh, see, I've got all the truffles. The cookie jar is full. Singularity is not be yeah, I've got a lot to do. <laughs> a lot of those. I haven't done much travelling other than. Okay, I've done. Yeah. A couple. But yeah, I got all those from my liner. The label. It's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing I'm working on is just finishing off this one. Glitch armor will be, will be a big one. I'm gonna get flight before then. So I'm not too sure how I want to go around getting that. Because, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have a lot of options. These guys are noisy. But this is probably like my proudest little thing. And I'm just like, so, uh, to me, even like all those cables, it's organized, it's kind of pretty. That one there annoys me, but I'll just move it. <laughs> So the obsidian and the it's platinum. They were the last two I got. Because you know you need a little bit of structure to get them. But now I've got unlimited obsidian, which is great. Then we'll bottom pop its water in it. I was actually grabbing because I've got my water thing over there, I was just grabbing buckets and buckets of water. Shoving it over here and just grabbing it here. <laughs> anyway, this is long enough. So that's the update. We'll see how everything else is going. And I'll try to get some more episodes up. Thanks.